Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn about globals. A global is a name with a numerical value attached to it that you can use throughout your budget. If you change the value of the global, it is changed throughout your budget. In Gorilla, you can create globals individually or you can create them in groups called global groups. The advantage of creating them in groups is twofold. First, it's better organization, so you can find a global quickly. If you have a complicated budget, you can have hundreds of globals. Second, if you create a global and attach it to a group, you can save that global group and import it into another budget. Let's create a global group. From the toolbar, select the Globals button. If you are not automatically taken to the Global Groups screen, select the Groups button on the bottom of the window. If the budget you are in has any global groups, you will see them on the left-hand side of the screen. Select the Create a Global Group button. I am going to create a group of globals for my crew, so I am going to call the group Crew. To add a global to this group, on the right hand side of the screen, select the Add a Global button. I need three globals for different rates. I am going to enter a name, a description, and a value for all these globals. R1, Electrical Rate, R2, PA Rate, and R3, Camera Rate. Okay, now that I have created my globals, Let's use them. On the detail screen, go to the line item you want to enter a global rate for and select the globe button in the rate column. Select the global that you want to use. Notice the rate automatically populates into the rate field. If I continue to use this global throughout the budget and then I want to see what would happen if I change that global rate, I would go to the Globals screen by selecting the Globals button on the toolbar. This screen shows you all the globals created for the budget you are in. Go to the global and change the rate. The rate for this global will change throughout your budget. Notice that there is a globe button in three places on the detail level. This means that you can attach a global to the amount field the X field or the rate field, or all three. The check mark on the top of the globe indicates that the value entered is a global rate. Now, if you want to manually enter a rate into this field instead, just enter the field and type in the new number. Notice that the check mark has disappeared for this entry. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot!